Hey guys, welcome to another Thank Truck is Friday. This week we're here with this Actros Edition 2 on a super secret project that we've been working with Mercedes-Benz on. I can't tell you anything about it, but I can show you the truck and when we release this video, it will be because I've been told we're allowed to release the video. Anyway, let's get into it. So, Edition 2. We have done a previous video on another Edition 2 that we did um, in cooperation with Motors Truck and Van, Mercedes-Benz Ipswich, and their customer, or our mutual customer, Maze Logistics. So to see that video, click up here. That's got a slightly different spec to this one, so that's why I'm really excited to show you this, because we've done some extra bits on here, just, you know, because we can. <laughs> so we're gonna start off, these were on the other one, chassis side skirts. Um, clearly this is the 6x2 chassis. This is the 490 tank option. Um, yes, we do do skirts for the 490 and the 450, just in case you're wondering. Um, what we've managed to do on this one, this truck is in the gorgeous matte, I think matte moonstone gray. I'm not sure on that, don't quote me, but it's a really nice Mercedes paint. Um, and we've managed to color match and matte, matte, matte match. Is that a thing? I don't know. The texture is the same anyway. So the skirts blend seamlessly into the paint and the color scheme of the truck. I think they look really awesome on here. Um, it just gives it that sporty AMG feeling, you know, just, it just looks awesome. We've even added these CUDA decals down the side here in matte black as well. You'll get the matte black, that's going to be a theme running through. Um, so yeah, I mean, just to take a, take a moment and appreciate how it all sits and looks nice together. Obviously with the black wheels again, on the other video, kind of got a bit excited about the black wheels, but they are very nice, these black wheels, I like the trims, nice again Mercedes. And then sitting on top of the skirt, well not on top of the skirt, but on the back of the chassis, you'll just see it peeking here on the shot. We'll add some more shot in, but is our tread safe platform. Now you'll have definitely seen videos of this. Um, you've probably seen one in a matte black before. I think the maze truck had a matte black platform actually, um, but it's normally in shiny aluminium. Um, the whole point is to create a safe working area behind the truck. Um, it also fills in the back of the chassis. It's a nice styling option, um, especially when we do this with the matte black and, and match it in with the truck. We can do that in pretty much any solid color, to be fair, and we can do a gloss or a matte finish. So if, you, if your truck's not this color or it's red or blue or whatever, we can do it, it's not a problem. Um, but yeah, so this is nice. Obviously finished with the black stainless bolts as well. So everything is just, yeah, it's just, just gorgeous on this truck. Um, and it goes really well with some detailing on the back of the cab, which I'm gonna take you around and show you in just a second. Um, yeah, right, we'll reposition the camera and you'll join me on the other side of the truck. Just like that. And the truck's turned around, look at that. We did that to get the lion, magic. So here we are, other side. Again, the side skirt. You can see we've integrated the steps into the tank steps and we've even matte blacked those as well just to bring everything in to match. Lovely, lovely. Um, what else have we got on this side? Well, actually, we need to move forward. Millie, can we move forward? <laughs> I need to show the camera on the corner here. So this is the um, near side camera as part of the DVS kit. And also there's near side sensors along the side here. Okay, DVS isn't that exciting. Again, in the previous video, I talked you through about how this is a very smart DVS system. Um, obviously it has all the standard sensors, cameras, left turn alarm, but they all talk to each other. And also it's integrated into the Mercedes screen, which I'll show you again when we get inside the cab. Um, so it's active up to 15 miles an hour. When you left hand down, you get warning vehicle turning left, the sensors become active. The clever part comes in, if the sensors don't detect anything, it doesn't keep saying warning vehicle turning left, warning vehicle turning left. It can be an annoyance, one for the driver, but also potentially for other road users. Um, as soon as the sensor detects something, that left turn alarm goes off again. So you've, you've immediately got that safety. It's always on, it's always looking, but it's just not there continuously to be a frustration for anyone else. So anyway, and the near side camera obviously shows full screen when you go left hand down. So you get a nice big picture on that lovely Merck infotainment system of everything in your blind spot down here, um, which makes it super safe, basically. And that's the whole point of DVS, right? To try and save lives, so that's great. Uh, okay, cool, right, let's jump inside and I'll take you through some other bits. Oh no, wait, wait, there's some, other, there's some bits on the back of the chassis, come with me. <clears throat> so this isn't actually ours. I think I showed you again this before, but these two pieces of catwalk here, these are factory. And what we've taken those off 
matte blacked them again. You see the matte black theme is carrying on. So that everything on the back of the chassis is in the matte black and up the back of the cab as well. There's the matte black Actros logo. Again, that's factory, but God, it looks good on the matte gray at the top. And to the left of that, you'll see an aerial, which is for the TV that's in the cab. That's a multi omnidirectional aerial. And check that out, we even got that as color matched as we possibly could as well. Okay, now let's jump in the cab. Okay then, here we are inside the Edition 2. Familiar surroundings, like I say, we have been here before with these beautiful leather seats, with the embossed Mercedes logo and the detailing and the cross-hatch diamond pattern. They're very nice seats and they're very comfy as well. I have to say that, I didn't say that in the last video, but they are very, very comfy. Okay, anyway, so what have we done? Well, cab store lockers are in, as you will see. And also we've added an integrated LED lighting strip. So from my previous video, you probably saw me cycling through the colors on the, uh, on the sunroof, probably put a little bit of footage there. Just padding up, look at this LED up here around the sunroof. And do you know what's really cool about it? You can actually change the color. I think it's this button. Yeah, look, so you can literally cycle through. We haven't done this. This is, this is all part of the addition too. I mean, how cool is that? And, uh, yeah, so we've thought, well, how can we put some, you know, some lighting into our into our lockers? And we've done it and it looks awesome. So Millie's gonna press a button so the camera might wobble just a little bit. And look at that. We've got this gorgeous, sorry about the trucks, just having a having a moment there. Gorgeous um, neon almost looking LED strip, which is countersunk into this return here on the locker. And personally I think it looks pretty awesome um, it comes on with the mercedes factory switch it comes on when you open the doors comes on with the mood lighting at the back we thought about it when you might and might not want it on obviously you're not going to want it on whilst you're driving so it'll just go off automatically like a door lamp um, but yeah so that is led we've gone for that neon look just so you don't see all the individual diodes personally it's a personal opinion thing for me i like the neon better than the individual diodes i think sometimes that can look a little bit cheap um, but again it's personal opinion um, okay the question is does it color change no this one doesn't can it color change yes we can do a color change option but what we're trying to do because we want it to be completely correct we're trying to find the led strip and an led manufacturer that can match the colors of the interior factory led lights so when you cycle through the colors they all cycle through together i know it sounds quite simple but you try and try to actually find everything so it matches sometimes it's a little bit difficult so we've just gone with the soft white at the minute which to be fair i think it looks awesome anyway it's a lovely place to be in the evening when it gets dark um, so yeah that's that's what we've done here um, still in the locker we've got a truck chef microwave if i stand up i don't know if millie will follow me up hopefully so middle locker a huge lockers these giga space lockers and then in there we've got our 24 volt truck shift microwave 20 litre 800 watt all the usual govins fully type approved um, and that i mean it doesn't even fill that locker you can see there's there's so much space around it for air circulation and then we have two huge bins either side with our lovely slider doors there's just so much room inside these lockers guys honestly if you're going away for a week you're not going to run out of space um, but yeah these are about 500 liters of additional storage and the Mercedes lockers are already huge in here. They are already huge. Uh, in this one, we have a coffee maker, which you probably won't be able to see from there, but we're gonna overlay some B-roll so you can see it. Nice and easy to access. Just a just a five cup coffee maker, nothing, nothing more exciting than that. So really you've got full kitchen option. You've got your microwave, you've got your coffee maker for your hot drink. You get yourself ready, you're on your break. You're about to go to bed. You need a little bit of entertainment, right? Well, we've thought of that as well. We've done cab TVs for a while. I showed you the aerial on the back, but we've actually partnered up with a, uh, a brand so that we can offer a flip down, fold down, HD, touch screen, 19 inch TV, which has got a free view box and a free view tuner as well. So you've got all of your channels. Honestly, it's so good. It's a smart TV, so you can download all the apps. It's based on Android, so you can get YouTube, iPlayer, ITV Hub, whatever floats your boat, Dave, whatever. You can get it all on there. Obviously it's Wi-Fi, so you just tether that to your phone or buy a dongle or whatever, just so you've got some internet connection there. Um, um, 
I'm going to show you that in just a second. Me and Millie are going to swap swap seats in a second. I'm just going to show you that. But uh, yeah, so I'm really excited to show you that. Let's, let's just get to that now. Let's just get to the telly. <laughs> okay, here we are with the TV that I just got a little bit excited about. So you can see it's a fold down, super slim, smart LED touchscreen TV. This screen folds back up. I'll show you that in just a second. It's got built in LED ambient lighting. It's got built in LED reading lights. As I said, it's fully touchscreen and it's smart. So you can see I've got it here on our YouTube channel at the minute. All I've done is tether that to my phone. It's got Wi-Fi built in. And then we can literally just tap in. Hey guys, welcome to and it'll play our video. It comes with a remote, so you can adjust the sound, the volume, whatever you want to do. And also, I don't know if you can see that on the screen, but it's an air mouse too. So if you're laid down the other end of your bunk, you haven't got to get up to go and press the button to navigate through the TV. It's on this remote here and it comes up as a little mouse on the screen there. A bit like the old Wii, you know, remember the Nintendo Wii? God, that's a who, that was old. I used to love that, I used to love Wii tennis. It was awesome at that. Anyway, sorry. So yeah, air mouse. Um, and you can obviously touch screen and do everything else. There's soft buttons in this panel above my head here. You probably can't see those on the footage, but we'll try and get a little bit of B-roll. So you can then just go back using the, the soft buttons on there, or again, you can use the remote. Um, so what other features has it got? I'm just gonna quickly rapidly go back through here. Sorry, we just have to go back out of YouTube. I'll press that again, and again, and once more should take us back to the home screen. So gives you, this is your main smart screen, smart TV home screen. Um, date, time, that's not correct. Uh, no, it's correct. Apart from the time is not 5.46 a.m. As you can tell, because it's light and it's February and it's never light at 5.46. Anyway, we'll change that. Um, so you've got built-in music player, it's got USB slot, it's got SD card slot, so you can just load up a USB, load up a hard drive, a card, whatever you want. With your music, you can load up with, it's got file manager, so you can load it up with photos if you want, or you can, load up with videos, so movies that you put on at home and that sort of thing, you can bring those with you. Uh, I'll just go back again. Uh, video input, that takes you to the TV. So in the cabinet, there's a free view box built in. Um, I haven't tuned it in, so I won't put it on because it will just say it's unsupported. But basically you tap that button and you then get your live TV free view, which works off the aerial that's on the back of the cab there. I also won't put it on because we'll probably get copyrighted by someone and I don't want to be risking that, that's for sure. Um, YouTube app built in. It's also got, it's, as I said before, it's based on Android, so you can go to an app store, you can download iPlayer, ITV Hub, all those sort of things, so you can have all of your streaming content. Again, that all works tethered to your phone. Um, you can also buy a Wi-Fi dongle for it, and then obviously buy a data subscription on a SIM card if that's what you'd like to do. But to be fair, most people nowadays have a good amount of data on their phones, or unlimited, so as long as you've got a phone signal, you can pretty much sit and just browse until your heart's content, which is awesome. Um, so yeah, and then when you're done, obviously you just stow it away, just fold it up, and then you have this nice little neat system, it's hidden away, it's nice and safe, there's no, you're not going to be able to watch it whilst you're driving along or anything like that, because it's behind your head to start with, and also you fold it up and it's just out of the way and you haven't got to think about it. So uh, yeah, so that's our new smart TV, with our smart under cabinet lighting. So we're calling this the smart pack for the cab store. That's well, that's what I'm calling it. So that's what we're going to call it. I'm saying the smart pack. Um, and that's it on this edition too. I think I've shown you everything. Um, yeah, I think I've shown you everything. Cool. Right. So please like, please subscribe to our channel. Um, that really helps us. We're getting up there now. I think we've got at the time of recording this. We've got about 1.5 thousand subscribers, which is cool. But let's try and push for the 2,000. That'd be awesome. Check us out on our other socials as well. Our Facebook just passed 28,000 likes. So thank you so much for that. Um, and get onto TikTok. Get following us on TikTok because we're doing some really cool stuff with some collaborations with some influencers on there. Um, giving some product away as well to you guys. So please, TikTok's a big focus for us this year. So get on that. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks again. I'll see you soon.